So we're on Mundy's Lane, everyone, and I'm going to take you to a place that I enjoy eating at when I come to visit Niagara Falls. So I'm going to stop there and pick up some food. Here it is, Flying Saucer Restaurant. So as you can see, it's a spaceship shaped restaurant and the inside is all decorated with alien decor. It's really a really unique place to eat at. So I'm gonna go and get my takeout. Hi guys. So I'm at Dufferin Islands now. Behind me there's the pond. And I came here to have a little picnic with my food from Flying Saucer. So I'm gonna show you right now what I got, okay? Okay, so I got the buffalo chicken sandwich and I also got coleslaw with it and then fries with gravy. Let's pour the gravy on there. Looks really good. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> and I brought my own drink. I didn't need that. Uh, I didn't need a drink from them. So just to give you an idea, there's uh, lettuce and cheese on it. It looks like a nice size. It looks really, really good. So yeah, we're gonna dig in. And I love their fries with gravy. They always have really good fries with gravy. And I also got a cheesecake, and I'll we'll have that after. Okay, I'm gonna dig into the sandwich. Let's see if it's it's my first time trying it. So hopefully it's good. I hope so. I think it will be good. Let's see. Mm. So I got the medium sauce for spiciness on the barbecue chicken sandwich and I think it's it's good. Like I usually get mild for something like that, but I don't find it spicy at all. Just so you know, the chicken is nice and juicy and it's not dry or anything. It's just it's just cooked just nicely. The fry nicely loaded with gravy so this is my nice view I have while I sit here and eat it's just beautiful and relaxing here there's plenty of picnic tables and you can hear so many birds singing it's really really enjoyable and if you like going on little hikes there's all types of nature trails in there so you can eat and then go for a little hike, work off your meal, and you might see some chipmunks. And there's all types of birds here. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. This is the coleslaw. So you can see um, it's pretty good too. Uh, they make it in, in house, so it's homemade. Another thing that I like about the area at Dufferin Islands is I told you they have quite a few picnic tables so you can you know have your meal here but you can also barbecue here they have little barbecue areas all along on this side and I think there might be a few on the other side across the pond but I'm not totally positive but it just gives you an idea for somewhere to go if you don't want to eat in a restaurant it's nice here and you can always, you know, get your family a pizza or do your own thing, bring your own picnic and eat it here. And so I just think it's such a beautiful place. Oh, well, I have a visitor coming to visit me. I think he senses I have food. Hi. Hi, Seagull. Okay, let's have a look at this cheesecake. It's a classic cheesecake. And then she gave me the in-house berry topping. So I'm gonna put some of that on it. Ooh, it should be good. Put some on there. Oh my goodness, nice chunks of berries in there. Oh boy, <laughs> it's gonna be good. Yummy. They give you quite a bit of the, the fruit sauce, the berry sauce, which is good. So you can put as much or as little as you like on it. It's 
so here's the cheesecake. Looks pretty delicious, I think. And this is from the Cheesecake Factory. They carry Cheesecake Factory cakes at the Flying Saucer restaurant. So let's dig in. It is so good. Oh my goodness. It's got nice chunks of strawberries in it and other berries. Yummy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> The cheesecake is delicious. Definitely worth trying out. They also have different types of cheesecake at the Flying Saucer. Um, ones with chocolate as well. And your classic cherry cheesecake, they have that too. But I wanted to try something a little different. There you go. Look at that. Look at that goodness. Well, I'm definitely glad I got the cheesecake. It's my first time trying out their cheesecake too, so you know. And I'll give it a five out of five. Well, I finished the whole cheesecake. It was quite delicious. So definitely worth checking the Flying Saucer restaurant out if you're coming to Niagara Falls. I recommend it. It's very good family style restaurant and you can get takeout and bring it here if you'd like or eat in and there's lots of different choices on the menu and they also have a kids menu so I'm gonna take you for a little restaurant walk into the tourist area but first I thought I'd show you a little bit of Dufferin Islands before we head over there Here's a nice view of, I guess you would call it like the pond area, part of the islands. See, there's many islands here. Uh, but apparently there used to be swimming here uh, for many years, but they don't have swimming anymore. But the birds swim. <laughs> the birds are enjoying it. But it's a nice nature area. You can see there's the Canada geese. And then I noticed there's a family of ducks here with their babies. And the babies are maturing. You can see them all grooming themselves now. They just got out of the water. So cute. There's little bridges that connect the islands to each other. Oh, this guy's feeding away on something. <laughs> I love how they do that. They look so funny when they do that. I forgot to mention how much my meal was for the buffalo chicken sandwich with the coleslaw fries with gravy and the cheesecake with the berry topping uh, came to 29 and change but it's quite filling I didn't finish it all I'm sure you can share it with someone maybe half of the sandwich and then split the fries it's quite you get quite a good amount of food so that gives you an idea of what that what it costs to eat that meal Lots of Canada geese here, enjoying themselves. You'll see a lot of birds here all the time. Winter, summer, there's always birds. Okay, 
Well, we're going to head over to the area in the Clifton Hill District and take a nice walk along the restaurants. Hopefully we'll see some menus we can share. One thing I'm going to mention before we head over there is I'll put a link in the description for the Flying Saucer restaurant so that you can look up the menu if you'd like to. So here's the menu for Chuck's Roadhouse Bar and Grill. So it shows you here, there's steak and lobster, $25. Chuck's Burger is $9. They have lots of appetizers. So they have $4 beers for 18 ounce draft, 11 p.m. to 5 p.m. every day. Prime rib burgers, many different kinds of burgers here. So burgers range from like $9 to $20, depending on what you get. menu but I didn't notice any on here so that gives you a want uh, gives you an idea okay we're gonna keep going on Ferry Street we're just coming up to four brothers cucina an Italian restaurant See any menu here though. Sunday <clears throat> tells you their hours though. It's Japanese barbecue, Niku. different places. You can see here up here on the right there's the keg at the Courtyard Marriott and there's Hooters restaurant on the right. So it shows that Hooters says home of the all-you-can-eat wings every Monday. Kids eat free on Sundays. Oh there you go. So see you have kids with you it's probably till like a certain age I'm thinking but kids eat free Sunday that's good to know it get quite costly coming here and trying to feed a family when you're visiting we're just coming up to Denny's here on the left and I think I saw a sign that says they're open 24 hours Denny's diner The Wego bus stops right in front of it. The blue line and the red line. There's the Starbucks on the right. Denny's, just to give you an idea, they have some food from their menu on display in the window here. The burger looks Pretty appetizing. A little bit of something for everyone. I'm sure Denny's probably has a kids menu too and they have free Wi-Fi. And then across the street 
got Outback Steakhouse. Since they have happy hour from 3.30 to 5.30 every day. There's a KFC here. If you want to just order some chicken and take it to go, eat it somewhere outdoors. There's also, if there's still, if it's still there, there's also an Outback Steakhouse uh, by the near Fallsview Boulevard, not too far away from the casino. There's a Popeyes across the street and an Osmos. Shawarma, falafel, kebab. They have chicken shawarma poutine there. And vegan options. This place coming up on the right. Uh, soon you'll see. I took a little walk inside of there. Nice man that was working there showed me around the whole place in another video. You can check that out. It's a video that I did a walk in the falls and parade of athletes. It's in that video, I'm pretty sure. And you've got Chinese cuisine here. I don't see any menus here, but I'm sure you can hopefully look them up online. Burrito place here, fresh burritos. Mango, fresh fruit cocktails and smoothies that look really good. Pizza, Casa Pizzeria. Here's the place here, Casablanca. That's where I went on the little restaurant tour inside. Gosh, it's so windy. Right here. Mamma Mia's right here since 1958. I have a menu here on display, so I'm going to see what they offer on their menu. They have an outdoor patio. So this is their menu right here. If you like Italian food, uh, they have calamari, deep fried with garlic and oil, $17.99, and then they have uh, bruschetta bread, garlic bread with cheese, $11.99. And then their salads start at $13.99. And pizza, so build your own pizza if you want, 11 inch. Um, there's one here, build your own sauce and cheese, it's $15.99. And then a Hawaiian. Tomato sauce, mozzarella, ham, and pineapple is $18.99. So that kind of gives you an eye. And then there's the meat lovers for $22.99. And they have all your pasta dishes. Fettuccine Alfredo with homemade Alfredo sauce, $21.99. Classic lasagna, $23.99. And then they have side orders right there. Gives you an idea of, and the kids' menu. Oh, they have a kids' menu on display here. It says spaghetti and tomato sauce or butter and cheese is $10.75 or chicken fingers and fries $11.50. So that gives you an idea. So ranging for kids' menu is $10.50 to $11.50. That's Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia's restaurant. I'm just going to see if Antica Pizzeria has a menu on display. We'll walk by. So they have a nice patio here too. Let me show you their patio. 
patio. Deluxe toppings, two dollars. They have a kids menu, spaghetti or penne, thirteen ninety nine, or a mini pizza, fourteen ninety nine. That sounds like a bit pricey for a mini pizza for a kid. And then they have your garlic bread, calamari, eighteen ninety nine. And then entree. And then their pasta. The so lasagna is $25.99. Pretty pricey, but I mean it's always busy here. So, and soup of the day is ten dollars. But so that gives you an idea if you want to try out Antica Pizza, Antica Italian Restaurant. Hope I say that right. Okay, let's see what's next. If we head towards Clifton Hill here on Ferry Street. And of course, you're coming to the falls. It's always fun to check out the site. Oh, I just saw the volcano go off. It's just fun to watch people go and go karting here. Always enjoyable. I, just, I could watch things like that for quite a while. I like watching that. And then you have all your attractions and things down here on Clifton Hill. Subway. If you just want to get a drink here, it's a dollar fifty for a drink. There's another restaurant here, Montana's. Let's go see what their menu is. Montana's barbecue and bar. Montana's is pretty good see what their menu offers. Oh, they have chicken tacos. That looks pretty good. And then chicken burrito bowls. Uh, $17.99 for that, for the bowl. Tuesdays are for tacos. So one taco for $5 on Tuesdays. And they have nachos. Their nachos look delicious. Nachos are $20.99 serves four people and then of course they've got their ribs and burgers Tex-Mex chicken sandwich looks really yummy and that is $19.99 um, and it comes with fries oh and they got churros here churros are good sauce with it and then all your different burgers they offer here uh, for a brisket burger, it's $18.99. And with that, you get an Angus burger sauce with Texas Gold barbecue sauce and topped with smoked Canadian beef brisket, real cheddar cheese, crispy Cajun onions, leaf lettuce, and chipotle ranch toasted on an Ace bakery bun. Sounds yummy. 
and that was $18.99. And they have lots of starters, um, just to give you an idea. The old deep fried pickles with ranch dip, $10.79. And then they list all their drinks. Uh, so just to give you an idea for beer, an 18 ounce Coors Light is $7.89. 23 ounce $9.89 and 56 ounces $20. So that's Montana's Montana's barbecue and bar. I think we're gonna go straight and see what's down here. Restaurant wise. And of course there's Hudson Hill right here to the right. Kelsey's there. Maybe there's a nice menu at Kelsey's we can check out, but we'll see if we when we go that way. There's other places down here too. There's a Chinese food down this street here, which is Center Street. And there's a steakhouse. different ads up here. Niagara Brewing Company, Niagara Distillery with Billy Bones. That's down Clifton Hill there on the left. all their different toppings they might have a, a website you can check for their menu burger factory and they have sweet potato fries I love sweet potato fries they're really good milkshakes too so there you go they have quite a variety of things at the burger factory Another place here, the works, burgers, craft burgers and beer since 2001. Look at the nice beer with the burger. Let's go see their menu. So it lists the top 10 favorites for burgers, but it doesn't list any prices. And they serve different drinks too, like milkshakes. And they have side orders, fries, spicy fries. They have a small little eating area outside here, which is nice. That's the work, burgers and beer. Let's keep going down here. Oh, there's the Wax Museum. And this is the, the Guru, Guru, <laughs> sorry if I'm not saying it correctly, Fine Indian Cuisine. There it is here. Let's go see the menu since 2004. So this one has a list of a lot of menu items but no prices. But there's many appetizers to choose from. Tandoori Delights, um, they have chicken tikka, I've had that before, it's quite good. Boneless pieces of chicken thighs marinated in yogurt and house-made spices, $15. Oh, they do have the prices, sorry, I didn't see that. Chicken wings, 
$12. Spicy chicken wings tossed in a house-made sauce. And then they have a chicken platter for $45. You get two pieces of each of the following. Tandoori chicken, chicken mala tiki, chicken akari tiki, and your choice of any chicken specialty curry. Nan brown with it. That is the Guru Fine Indian restaurant. And they have takeout. And you can dine in. Those of you that are vegetarian, look at this. Raj, Raj Dahani Sweets and Restaurant. Pure vegetarian. And it shows you up there the different choices of dishes you can choose from. And up there on the side they have spring rolls, different items there, they look pretty good. Uh, this looks like a newer place to me, so. And they have a little outdoor dining area and indoor. So there you go, some options for vegetarians at Raj, Raj Dahani Sweets and Restaurant. Also, Versa Fine Indian Cuisine here. There's no menu on display, but it just shows you where it is here on Ferry on Victoria Street. There's many Indian restaurants around though, so you shouldn't have a problem finding one. There's also Remington Steak and Seafood Restaurant here, Remington's of Niagara. We're just heading down Victoria Street now because I want to show you a few more places down this way and then we'll head back towards Clifton Hill area. Wow, this place used to be like I think a Japanese restaurant. But I'm not positive, but it was here a really long time, so I don't know what happened to it. I don't see a menu. But there's a big giant cow on the top of it. I'm not even sure if this place is open. It doesn't look like it's open anymore. That's too bad. That place was here a really long time. I wonder what happened. So it says we're at Victoria and Kitchener Street. Clifton Hill District. So I noticed this place looks new to me. Chubby's Jamaican Cuisine. It looks like they are smoking something there outside, like food, like in the smoker. Mm, it smells really good. So that's something you could try coming to the falls if you like Jamaican food. dollars every day for a corona wow that's like an amazing deal if that's still true right here biryani sunday is 19 dollars at kafu labs restaurant and bar and you've got an Italian espresso, cappuccino, and ice cream cafe here. That's been here a long time. So they have nice specialty coffees here. And then there's a sushi place here. Sushi So, Korean barbecue, Korean Japanese cuisines. And they show quite a few of their menu items here. Doesn't, I don't know if they're open today. Looks really good though from the pictures. Oh, there's one of those slingshots. There's a 
Al's convenience store right here at the corner of Victoria and Walnut Street in case you know there's you can get snacks and things here if you just want a little something to snack on while walking around take back to your hotel that's convenient to have and this is country style donuts country inside wow okay I haven't seen that in a while 1963 so they must have their coffee inside I'm thinking good to know it's always an enjoyable view here of the sky wheel put the skyline tower behind it you can see a little bit of the mist to the left from the falls so we'll go make our way to see if Kelsey's on the hill as a menu we can look at and then we'll continue on checking out places around the hill that's gonna be our last stop on our little food tour here the Hard Rock Cafe that's located on Falls Avenue we're gonna head there in a little bit we're gonna head there in a little while I just caught in the corner of my eye that there's a Mardi Gras nightclub right there. Never even knew of that place. For those of you that like nightclubs, and that's right behind me, Ripley's Selfie Studio. Some nice photo opportunities here on the Ripley's building of the postcard. Greetings from Niagara Falls. It's really nice. I like that. And then there's a smile here in Niagara Falls. We are at the top of Clifton Hill and I see the menu so let's head over there across the street to Kelsey's. Kelsey's is quite large, a large restaurant, nice open air dining area at the front there and then nice patio at the side. Let's go see what their menu has. So just to give you some ideas for the Kelsey's menu, a half rack of ribs is $25.99, a full rack is $34.99, or you can get a rib and wing combo for $28.99. Sorry, it's really loud here. And then they have all kinds of side dishes you can get, onion rings, sweet potato fries, baked potatoes and different salads and they have your burgers and then you can get like chicken your way so you can pick your chicken if you want wings or chicken bites or tenders and then you pick a side with it different flavors many different flavors and then the different cocktails they list Start at $8.79 and the beer starts at $8.29. They have desserts, funnel cakes, funnel cake fries, cheesecakes, and those prices are all like $8.49 to $8.99. And that is Kelsey's Restaurant on Clifton Hill. fun-looking Burger King restaurant if you want fast food and then down the Oneida Lane on the street there oh there's a roller coaster and down there you've got Papa John's Pizza let's go see if they have a menu this is where I had my burrito from Fusion Wrap very, very good burritos here. And then there's Papa John's. Oh, they have a menu. Let's go check it out. They have something new called Butter Chicken Pizza. You get a large butter chicken pizza with garlic parm breadsticks and two 
Pepsi drinks with it. Smells good. There you go. A slice with a drink is six dollars, five ninety nine. Carry out only. Here's the menu. The pizza start at sixteen ninety nine and go to twenty five ninety nine. There's the different sizes. And then you can choose your crust and then your toppings, whatever toppings you want. You see the prices here. And they even have like steak, Philly cheese steak. These are new flavors for pizza. And look at this, looks good. Kind of looks like quesadillas. Looks pretty good. And then they have bowls too. Not Papa John's. Of course, there's so many places to eat here. Um, I'm just giving you some idea options, so it gives you something to look into. Here's the menu pictures for Applebee's. It's right on Clifton Hill. And then it shows IHOP restaurant. So I guess they have both here, Applebee's and IHOP. And then right next door is Benihana Japanese Steakhouse. It says it's on the second floor, the Japanese Steakhouse. There's always lots of dessert options here to choose from, like churros with ice cream, different bubble teas at the bubble tea store. There it is. And for those of you who are Tim Horton lovers, don't worry, you can get your coffee here right on Clifton Hill. And there's plenty of Starbucks around. Clifton Hill family restaurant right here. It's their menu. They serve dole soft serve milkshakes. Looks amazing. And then they have lunch and dinner menu. Their burgers start at $16.99 and then they go up to $20.99. They have poutine. It's also a a favorite of many different kinds of poutines. And then fish and chips looks really good. And they have your pasta dishes. And then hot dogs, foot long hot dogs. And then uh, they have a lunch and dinner served from noon. So it gives you an idea. And breakfast is until 12 p.m and it's $9.99 for breakfast and that is the Clifton Hill Family Restaurant right across the street there's a Boston pizza so we're gonna go check out their menu it gives you an idea for pizza another pizza place to enjoy delicious pizza and pastas Starting at $12.79. So there's one here, you get pizza bread, 
with Italian spices, pizza mozzarella, and parmesan, and you get served with a ranch dip. Or you can get a bigger size for $23.79. And then of course all their pizza selections. You can create your own pasta here too, starting at $18.29. And they have chicken wings and chicken tenders. They even have sandwiches. Uh, it starts at $20.99 for a dill fried chicken sandwich. Honey dill fried chicken sandwich. This sounds really good. And it, you get served with one choice of a side with that. Right, so that is Boston pizza. Many different kinds of pizzas. Uh, just one example is their carbonara pizza, so signature pizza dough smothered in garlic butter, topped with loads of cheese, grilled chicken, smoky bacon, alfredo sauce, and parmesan. For individual is $16.29, and there's the other prices. That is for carbonara pizza. So that gives you an idea. The deluxe pizza is starts at $15.59 and goes to $35.29. Okay, let's keep going. Of course, there's lots of ice cream places here to enjoy. Crunchy cream, waffle cones. They have dip and dots. window seating here you can get a good view while you're eating everything happening on the hill we're coming up to Ruby Tuesday they even have an area up there like a bar area because they have daily specials smoke minis little sliders for $15.99 and then they have herb crusted tilapia $23.99 and the sirloin 6 ounce steak for $29.99. Here's their menu. It's their burger, smokehouse burger. Uh, burgers start at $17.99 for a Ruby's classic burger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And it comes with fries. And then they have pasta dishes. Pasta dishes start at $24.99 for chicken and broccoli pasta. And then they have a vegan option here. And then the kids menu. Kids menu starts at $10.99. And you get beef minis with cheese served with fries or a hot dog with fries. Chicken tenders, pasta, fish and chips, or mac and cheese. I think most kids like mac and cheese. And they have some yummy drinks too. So that is Ruby Tuesday. And they have a stand for their main menu and their drink menu. So there you go. And they have an all-you-can-eat salad bar. Good to know. This is where the Rainforest Cafe is located. And then there's Billy Bones Barbecue Restaurant. And then there's Niagara Brewery. So this is the Rainforest Cafe menu. But they do not have the prices here. But I can tell you, you can, you can probably look it up online. 
and they have you know your various burgers and sandwiches and salads and tacos and seafood here and also pasta and steak and many side dishes and that is Rainforest Cafe. The Niagara Distillery shows they have six dollar craft drinks on selected drinks and they have happy hour from four to five and eight to nine. Now we're just coming up to the Hard Rock Cafe. You can see there's a Starbucks here. We're on Falls Avenue now, just across from the Oaks Garden Theater. Let's go see if they have a menu we can see, hopefully. You can't miss it either with the big Hard Rock Cafe guitar hanging off the side of the building. And it's right across from the border to the United States. Have a nice outdoor patio too with entertainment sometimes. So just that inside of Casino Niagara there's all these food places you can try out. Pizza Hut in there, Subway, Great Canadian Burger, and then Niagara Brewing. So the Hard Rock Cafe had their menu on display, and I think the burger, like a burger dish, was about $25. And there is a kids menu. They also have a happy hour twice a day. Like I told you, they have entertainment tonight. Close my blues away. There you go. You can enjoy your meal or drinks and have some entertainment with it. I think that'd be awesome. And of course, they have other dining options like the Skylon Tower. There's a revolving restaurant up there and many other restaurants on Falls View Boulevard. But this is just a little tour around to give you an idea on places to eat. So I think we're gonna take a little walk uh, to that fountain, the Zimmerman Fountain, um, and that's where we're gonna end our walk for today. You can notice they have a wine rack store here.
that's gonna do it for today's restaurant slash food tour walk. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps you see what it's like if you're coming to visit Niagara Falls. And we're just coming up to the famous Zimmerman Fountain. It's all beautifully planted. We're going to end it. Here's the Wico bus. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now.